Artbound presents Studio A. Featuring the music of Chicano Batman. We're Chicano Batman. The first song we're going to play is called La Samoana. I'm going to ask you guys a quick question. Has anybody, has, you know, has anybody had a conversation with their parents and have they ever told you about like, like a, a relationship they had in the past, like another girlfriend, another boyfriend? Raise your hand. Yeah, so this song is about that. My dad happened to, you know, he was he just dated this, uh, this Samoan girl. To me, when he told me about it, it struck me. I was like, man, that's crazy. I could imagine myself, you know, you know in, in my 20s, you know, you know, doing the same thing. To me, it was really special and uh, touching that my dad told me this story. It was like the first time he ever, like, kind of opened up that way. So, uh, so this song is called La Samoana. Please enjoy. El otro día la vi en el apartamento, el otro día la vi y me puse menso. Manchaba su ropa con su alma caliente, cocinaba la sopa con su alma caliente. Libre. 
verde como el mar Cuando brillamos en la pista Gozando de la noche Moviéndonos al disco Moviendo al compás de su corazón Palpitando y sudor Va cayendo de sus labios que besé Libre como el mar Cuando brillamos en la pista Gozando de la noche Moviéndonos al disco Moviendo al compás de su corazón Palpitando y su dor va cayendo de sus labios que besé Chicano Batman started from a drawing. It was just a Batman that looked as if we could have been from El Salvador or from Mexico or somewhere in Latin America. Chicano embodies this identity of somebody from, a, from mixed origins, but obviously most people know it as Mexican-American. So, so it was just this Mexican-American Batman. Right away, I connected the UFW eagle to, to the bat. Like It just made sense, like Chicano Batman. The Chicano movement was something started in the late 60s. Uh, that coalesce with the United Farm Workers, right? You have Cesar Chavez, you have all these individuals who were trying to fight for, uh, for political and political justice. So Chicano represents that movement, right? Which is embodied and symbolized by the UFW. The connection for me was connecting two pop cultural symbols. Well, one being a very strong political symbol and one being a very strong pop cultural symbol, which is Batman. So that's we have Chicano Batman. So the whole point was to just embody that political spirit within a symbol, but also just something that would be a good band name. Something that's catchy, people are gonna hear it, they'll be like, let's go check it out.
we're trying to embody a political movement within our symbol, right? We're trying to we're trying to embody a cultural reality within the way we dress. We dress like Los Angeles Negros or Los Pasteles Verdes. Los Angeles Negros were from Chile, a band that played in the early 70s. It's like they played ballads that we were probably conceived to. The Recuerdos is a term that, that is used. Uh, it's a common name for all these ballads, right? Like uh, Leo Dance, Como te extraño, mi amor, por qué será? Te extraño tanto en la vida si no estás. Just classic, just oldies from that, that we grew up on, that we, that we've always, that we grew up hearing. Our music is something that's just ourselves. You see what I mean? It's just like a, a blending of all these things that you cannot necessarily name because it's just our lives that are being exposed. Pasando la calle y tu sombrero Buscabas a quien te diera un poquito de dinero Por mi coche tú pasaste, tocaste la ventanita Ahí es donde yo saqué la dulcita manzanita Le saqué la manzanita Me dijo que no, no, no Que no podía con su boquita Al dar dos pasos para adelante Abrió y luego de repente Yo no lo pude creer No tenía ni un solo diente
Thank you very much, everybody. I'm a big fan of Caetano Veloso, the Tropicalia movement. I love Colombian cumbia and uh, just roots music in general. For example, like Son Jarocho. I think that's a good example of, of you know, uh, a style that different musicians and particularly here in LA are getting into. It's just like, it's just natural, pure music from a, from a community. It's the music of the community. And I feel that uh, everybody's longing to, to find a community, right? And to hear community music is, and to play it, you know, creates that community. And I feel that's what, what a lot of us are trying to get at here in LA. Just getting into the media and taking hold of, of the resources that are there to expose our own music. Right? And I think, it's, uh, I think that's what it's about, just like people taking the agency and taking the steps to, to get ahead in a world where Latinos don't necessarily dominate, right? to get ahead and to, to continue pushing the music that we create and to not be ignored and to be, to be heard. All right, y'all, this song is called Cumbia del Sol, and it goes a little something like this. Ahí les va.
baila conmigo el sol. A el timbalero goza la cumbia del sol. Es la cumbia timbalera y todo el mundo la va a gozar. Es la cumbia más cumbia mera. Es la cumbia cumbia del sol.